Hmm. So, Jamana, I think. Um, all right, let's do this. Again, I could be reading for the cross watcher, right? So, take it how it resonates. I feel, Jamana, you have clarity about what you want. All right, what you want from this person. Okay, you could be someone who is non-committal. You're coming off as someone you know who is very, very focused on their career, their goals, their money. You know, very money-minded or just very materialistic. You probably don't want to invest into a connection emotionally. I think you think about things very practically, very logically. And I think you don't have any time for love. You only have time for your career and your profession is what I'm getting here. Okay. Uh, I feel you have clarity about a situation and you want a new beginning with the person that you're dealing with. All right. Again, keep in mind this entire reading can be reversed. All right. So you have clarity about the situation and now you want a brand new beginning with this person out here. Okay. Because you're manifesting this person out here. You feel you have all that you need and you're ready to manifest a new beginning with this person. Okay. Why? Because deep down you feel something's unfinished. Okay. Something's not finished between you both. There's a cycle that hasn't been completed or... Or you don't want to end the cycle with this person. Okay. Let's see. Uh, I think in the past here, there was a lot of willingness and determination from your side. Or maybe you even had to travel to this person. Okay. So distance could be a blockage between you guys. But in the near future here, I feel that there is either too much uh, of optimism that someone has. Or someone's just too depressed. Okay. Just not being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Or just being too depressed and too negative. Okay. A lot of pessimism in the near future. All right. Probably because there is no clarity. Or because someone's just having a hard time focusing on the positive aspect of the relationship or where things can still get better um you want a new beginning with this person for sure okay but the problem here is that you're coming off with someone you know who either a has to fight a lot with your family or tradition could be an issue between you both okay or this is just a situation which has reached the end of the cycle you know you're almost at the finishing line but the thing is that in order for you to finish that right is where you need to put in the work it's going to come to you with a price Commitment with this person or this person wanting a commitment with you, it can happen, but it's going to come with a price. Okay, now the price can be anything, anything at all. All right. It can be you having to sacrifice something. It can be you having to fight with your family. It can be you having to fight with the tradition. It can be you. You get what I'm saying, right? That's what's going to happen because you're at the end of the cycle with this person out here. The person you're dealing with is waiting for you, okay? They're waiting and watching. This person has a lot of faith. It's a very, This is a very optimistic person, okay? So someone who has a, lot of, has a lot of hope and faith that things will work out between you guys one day. I'm getting a very strong uh, long-distance relationship out here. Could be an online relationship, all right? But uh, I think the person you're dealing, dealing with is very optimistic and um, I feel this person here has made a choice of wanting to wait for you and stick around for you but it's going to be up to you to take that call all right because you don't want with the ace of pentacles in your emotions oh. the emperor and um the death fell out so i feel that there's someone here who's finally changing there's i'm getting a change i'm getting a transformation out here someone who's finally ready to let go of what doesn't serve them there was a lot of resistance from one person's side someone very very stubborn out here okay it could be a, a business owner could be someone older to you you could be young whatever but uh, someone out here was resisting this change you know transformation all this way maybe someone was non-committal and they didn't want to change for you or you didn't want to change for them but there is a big change coming up all right so let's see. Yeah, like I said, in your emotions, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So you definitely want something committed, something stable. Not like I'm saying that um, you want this. Um, it's not an emotional beginning for you anymore. You definitely want something stable with this person. Okay. But with the outcome, here's the hermit. <laughs> Someone's choosing to stay isolated. Let's see. What's the Ace of Swords? What's the Ace of Swords? Yeah. I think if one person out here has a lot of hope and faith that things will work out. I think you're both on the same page. With the star out here and the three of wands, they're both very optimistic cards, okay? Very optimistic, um, having a lot of faith and uh, looking towards the future, you know, that if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, right? But not like just completely like, um, like say the law of attraction, right? Like... You, you know what you want, you manifest it and then you let it go and then you wait for the universe to do the work and it comes back to you at the right time. That's the kind of energy I'm getting from both of you, right? But uh, I think you've healed is also what I'm getting here. I think you've healed and now you have clarity about a situation. Either you've healed from a past connection or you've healed a past connection which probably kept on having a lot of influence in this connection and screwing up the potential of this connection or you've healed from the breakup. 
okay, that you had with this person. And now you're ready to move things forward with clarity, with honesty. King of Pentacles in reverse. <laughs> King of Pentacles in reverse with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Damn! It's like a face-off, man. You're both like... So it's like I'm getting one person invested a lot in this connection, okay, whilst the other person was very focused on themselves, their career, being very, very selfish and greedy with their energy, emotions, love, etc. Now the tables have turned, okay, and now this person is probably wanting to invest or you're wanting to invest into this person, but now this person's just acting crazy. <laughs> now this person is not focused on themselves, okay. It could also mean that this person out here uh, could be someone who's very... Um, Attached to another person out here. Could be dealing with someone here who's married. You're married or the person you're dealing with is married. And they could be uh, stuck in a rut. Okay. Stuck in a rut or stuck in a marriage that they would like to come out of. But they still can't. Maybe there is someone else who's financially dependent on them. I'm just getting that for some of you. Okay. What's the magician here? What's the magician? Queen of Wands, you want to take action towards your manifestations, okay? I think you are trying to manifest this Queen of Wands is what I'm getting here. Yeah, that's what you're doing. You're manifesting this person back into your life. You want a brand new beginning. You want a brand new opportunity with this person out here, okay? Look at that. Two of Cups. A lot of love, a lot of balance, a lot of compassion, a lot of emotions. There's this balance, you know, that like that yin and yang and like that uh, masculine, feminine energies, you know, there's this balance that's coming out from you, okay? I think now you're ready for that equal give and take, okay? And if it's a cross watcher, then the cross watcher is ready to give you that balanced relationship, okay? But this person really loves you to the core. Someone's manifesting you back or you're manifesting them back. That's what's on their mind because they think something's unfinished between you guys or they just don't want things to end. The world in reverse, please. What's the world in reverse? the tower this person has had a realization an epiphany all right so this person out see that's why the death came out right that's what that's what i'm getting you gemini or the person you're dealing with someone out here has been uh resisting change has been trying to run away has been an escapist to changing their belief system, their thought pattern or changing their thoughts about commitment or changing their thoughts about wanting to be with you forever, okay? Because they just thought it was impossible or because they didn't want to work or put in that work which is pushing them out of their comfort zone, okay? Now the entire change is happening and probably you don't even know it. But yeah, with the tower here, I feel that this person here is making a very drastic approach. They've had a realization that illusions, okay, where that they, where they thought that the situation will keep working out the way it is. They didn't have to do anything much about it. That's what's changing now. They're changing it only because they feel that this is unfinished business. And there was a, there was a there was a reason why this same pattern was repeating itself over and over again, okay. But yeah, they've had a realization for sure. There's a wake up call from the universe. Hello. What's the chariot? Two of pentacles. So in the past year, there was someone here who um, you wanted to move towards, okay? But I think this person was constantly juggling you and another person juggling. I don't think, I'm not getting another person, but definitely juggling. Uh, it's a very, very on and off connection. There. It was a very on and off connection out here, okay? But distance also could be a bit, all right? Distance could be a big issue between you both in the past. And because of the distance, right? This person was not being able to give you all the time, probably because of the traveling, because of the situation right now going on in the world, whatever, right? But there was a lot of on and off, a lack of, in, lack of stability in the connection in the past, okay? This person wasn't being able to give you all the time and effort that you wanted or that you were giving or that you deserved to this person, okay? Uh, that's one thing I'm getting here. So the willingness was there, but 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 when it came to the stability, right? That's what was unbalanced out here. The sun in reverse. Why is that here? There is a lack of a new beginning here. That's what's happening here. There's a lack of a new beginning here. There's a lack of success out here. Why? Because someone is being very, very cold, very, very uh, stubborn, very rigid is what I'm getting here. In a good way. 
in a good way. Okay, we don't have the emperor in reverse out here. The emperor otherwise also is all about structures, right? So I'm getting that Gemini, if you are approaching someone, right, and you want to go to this person, why? Because you don't want the cycle to close. You want to still continue the same cycle, right? It's not going to work with this person. Cross watcher, if you're trying to come towards Gemini without commitment, without anything stable, without offering them anything secure, because I do see the king of pentacles in reverse as the influence out here. So you want to come to this person with that same energy where, yeah, I love you. I want you. I want to be with you, but I can't commit to you. That ain't happening. That's just not happening. This person out here will want what they want. This person wants is craves stability. They crave security. They have this craving of wanting they don't like loose ends. They don't like loose ends. Now, it could be you, could be the person you, who's what, uh, the cross watcher, okay, the person you're dealing with. But it's not going to work out in the near future. Why? Because this person is coming towards you, they're manifesting you, okay? Because they have a realization. But is the realization enough for them to come towards you and commit to you? Is it enough to convince them that this is what you need and without it, that it's not going to work? What's the 10 of pentacles in reverse? see what's happening here right that's what i'm saying like you are putting in a lot of willingness and determination okay to stay away from this person why because it is just not reaching that point of commitment it's not reaching that point of um, stability okay so you're trying to do your best to resist this connection resist this person maybe you're just very focused on your work okay but there's a lot of strength and determination coming from your side to not give in to this connection you're not being tempted this time around Three of Wands. What's the Three of Wands? What's the Three of Wands? Four of Cups in reverse. This person is waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. Now what I'm getting here is that Hmm. see this person is very in and out okay of your life so what's happening here is that this person is missing opportunities out here because they just keep fucking waiting they're waiting not doing anything about it like i said right this is an optimistic energy right but then the thing is that they're waiting for the ships to come in so what i'm getting here is that this person that you're dealing with right this person is probably waiting for you to reach out to them so that you can let them know that you're still interested i think they're waiting for you to reach out and if this continues for a little longer it's going to be a missed opportunity with you or you with them. I think that's what's going to happen here because we have the four of cups in reverse. There is no, there is no action from this person's side, I think. Okay, they're manifesting you. Or this could be this person who's manifesting you, right? And you're waiting for this person to reach out. When this person does not reach out, right? You're just like, you know what? It is what it is. Done and dusted. Missed opportunity. Let's move forward. That's what's happening, I think. And it could be that this person out here is wanting this commitment with you, but they're just resisting, doing their best to hold on. Unle unless and until they're, they're ready to submit to this relationship. They're ready to give in to this relationship or give you what you want. Ace of Pentacles. So you love them, you miss them. Then what's the hold up? What's the hold up? You want a brand new beginning with them. I'm getting, you know what I'm getting here? The person you're dealing with is the magician. You're coming off as the emperor. So if you see these two energies, right? They're very, very individualistic, okay? The, the, the magician is someone who likes to operate on their own. They like to be their own boss. And uh, they don't really work well with structures, all right? They don't really work well with solid structures. They don't work well with cages. They don't work well with squares. Okay. On the other hand, the emperor is someone who only works with structures. You tell the emperor it's one, two, three, four, five. That's what they do. The magician's like, no, maybe it's starting with a five and then you go back to a one and then you go back to a three. You get what I'm saying? So that's a very manipulative energy. But at the same time, they're like, I can do whatever I want. I can waltz back into Gemini's life and, you know, like, and I can leave whenever I want. And the emperor's like, no, 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 no. You come in when I want, you leave when I want. Okay. You get the difference, right? So, yeah. You miss this person. You want this person. Well, I mean, with the six of cups here, I think you miss this person a lot. A lot. You know what? I feel you reminisce. You miss the person. But I think you're just going down memory lane. But there's no action, action from your side too. What's the hermit? 
What is the hot material? It's not like <sighs> The hyphens. Someone out here is growing spiritually. Wow. Wow. I really want to show this to you. Should I show you what's at the bottom of the deck? Wow. This is the four of wands. Eventually, someone's going to commit. I think the more isolated you stay, the more this person gets driven towards you, the more they get divinely pulled towards you, they're divinely being guided towards you. And boom, that's what's coming in. The four of wands, commitment, stability, security. Do, do this. You keep doing. You keep doing what you're doing, bro. I think that's the right way. Maintain the emperor. Maintain the stability, security, all right? Don't give in. Don't change your thought patterns for anyone. Don't change your structures. Don't change your belief system for anyone, all right? The right one's going to come in and give you what you want, all right? So I feel that because this person's already with the tower here, they've already had a realization, okay? They already know what's going on. And uh, they're manifesting you back, okay? But I feel eventually as the outcome here, this person is going to be driven towards you. They're going to be divinely guided. They're going to be, you know, there's going to be like a pull that they're going to feel, you know, to come towards you, right? And I think that's when they will change their belief system. Could be dealing with someone very, very non-committal, okay? But they're coming towards you and they will change for you, all right? So that's what I have for you. Hope this reading resonates and leave your comments below. Like, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.